Spread out her as a treasure. That's all I have to say. Oh, she is a treasure. Oh, and really? then my, when it, my bucket list was um, uh, occurred this summer, I got to meet um, Dr. Chuck Kennedy, and Rhodey was there and filmed the whole thing of me being with Electro. I, I'm horrible with names. She, if Rhodey was here, that's my Rhodey. She'd be over there telling me what it's called. But, uh, it, yeah, it, he has a special name for it, but it's Project Psy, uh, Psy and um, I am on an elite group with them that helps to bring human trafficking and um, missing children um, home. So um, I'm very, I'm so blessed. It, when I go back four years ago where nobody knew who I was and I got a worldwide of forever friends and sitting on your show, sitting here sharing with you. I can't even imagine four years ago that that would occur. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm kind of in the same boat with you about four years ago. Nobody knew who I was. Nobody. And now I'm, I'm teasing Ron saying that, you know, if we get to go to this event this weekend, I keep teasing that I'm just going to wear a mask and sit in a chair with a tiara and wave at everybody and that make them come see me. <laughs> I, and, and, and a bunch of people have said they probably will because most of these people know you. And I started laughing. I said, you know, it's, it's quite possible. But, you know, it's just me joking. You know, I may just sit around in a chair with a mask on. I mean, not, not like a face mask, but a uh, you know, a mouth mask, you know, and not right. because I'm Zach Baggins, as everybody else calls him, it's Baggins, Baggins, whatever, Zach, I'm not Zach, and I'm not being a prima donna, it's because, you know, after a biopsy, you don't want to be breathing in everything in, in the sun, your lungs right. are wide open for everybody's crap, so. Of course, if, that's exactly so, correct, yeah. So that's if, why we're yelling at our Stephanie that she can't come, we're going to live stream her at the jail and I got mad. it doesn't matter she, she's cut off she's not allowed to come and she's every, still trying though everybody will be looking for her at the doors and she will get a kick in the butt see I told you we we kick ass here in this group well we're yeah. old school we're old school yeah. mamas cool. <laughs> we believe in you know a love tap will put you back in line well you know you know the thing is is when you're loved you need you need to make sure that we people that's right they're they're saying we love you we want you to to stay safe you take take their word for it because because you don't want them investigating you after you yeah, pass no. true. <laughs> that is true that now that one hit home you're right <laughs> well i mean so it true. happens and that's the yeah. that's the bad that was, part yeah and does. and there are people out there i mean my mom passed and I'm not investigating her, but she comes to me a lot. And if somebody went out there to investigate her, I'd be knocking the living crap out of her. Yeah. But um, but this weekend, I had questions about um, family members who have passed, and because we had a lot this year um, in my mm -hmm. in my family, and we had questions about that, and I didn't know how to answer their questions on. Are they here? Do you know things like that? You know, Katrina, this is going to be directed to you. Okay. My niece, this is not going to be specific, but my niece went to one of these big shows where a big time medium held this show where everybody paid by credit card in advance. Nobody could buy tickets at the door, things like that. And she lost, okay, my mother, um, my, her father, her aunt, and a good friend, all within a span of November to February. Okay, so you know, well, you know when my mom died, but you got all this stuff. And she goes, I should have all these spirits around me. Why didn't I get picked? And I said, I don't know, I said, but I handed her a bunch of stuff that her father had told me. And she was, well, I could have saved myself a lot of money if, 
if I had just come to you, Antonise. <laughs> but why does that kind of stuff happen in those kind of um, group settings like that, that, that the, the medium didn't pick up on this massive loss on this one girl that's there? I can't speak on anyone else and never have. I, I, I don't quote any books or any teachings. I literally will only speak my experiences. And I think it once a month, I've been going on to give free reading sessions. I have a few forever friends that um, are donating money to for me to be able to give readings to others that can't afford or whatever may be to give healing. It's beautiful. And I'm so honored to be a part of that gift, but I get like, I, the last time I had 75 emails with um, people asking to speak with their loved ones, but I'm only picking 10 for the hour. And that takes a, all day. I'm, I'm, I'm channeling and getting the messages um, of those 10 people before I get online, which I'm going to change things. I'm going to be calling these people instead of waiting for them to be able to contact me through the chat room. So that's going to be great. Everyone that was chosen, I tell them, I give them my notes of the connections that I received, and um, they all have come back saying that every single thing has been 100% true. But I know that the other ones out there think that their loved ones wasn't strong enough or didn't shove to get into the front of the line. It doesn't work that way. It's the first face that I'm seeing, and that's how it works. So maybe that's the answer for that particular medium. I, 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 that's the best answer I can give you. I told them from my experience with the people that they knew that they really weren't the kind of people that said, hey, look at me. They weren't going to come out to somebody who did, they didn't know. Their personality is still the same always. I, I'll have readings with someone that it might take me a while to get to know them because their loved ones just don't speak to anybody. And I'll tell them that and they're like, yep, that's them. But others I got that are just sitting there and we're literally having um, a, a drink, so to speak, in the spirit world. It, it just goes so fantastic. So that's the best answer I can have. It doesn't mean that your loved ones don't love you. It's just maybe that they weren't in her vision. I, I don't know. Did, does she make sure that she gives a reading to everybody? Now, see, I give one. No. I go right next there. to everyone and I give a reading to every single one of my that a pretend. And the I highest I've say, done at one time was 50. I, I would have to say that your audience is probably a lot smaller than hers. Because um, she is nationally, if not well, internationally. You famous, you're absolutely right. Yes. So, and that's one of the, the issues. Unless, unless you're getting a private reading, you're not going to get any. You may not get anything. But, so um, here's her answer. She, her loved ones were having to scream above probably thousands of loved ones in spirit because you know you don't come with just one. You know this. Uh, oh, that uh, you, you know this, Denise. It's not just one that are caring. There's three or four of them, or sometimes even abundance. So, um, and they all come hoping to make a, a comment or say something or whatever the opportunity to speak. So please let her know that, yeah, if she's got her aunt, have her come to you. Well, that's kind of what I did as I gave, I gave her the notes that he came to me and he told me, he goes, I really never, he goes, it's not that I didn't like you. It's just that I just didn't really have anything to say to you. You know, Pete never really cared to, to talk to me a whole lot when he was alive. So that's just how it was. So I just got used to it. So when he showed up, I was like, what in the hell are you doing here? <laughs> so that was just me. So um, it was just kind of funny. But, you know, I know that every medium is different. And for people out there, I only... If I endorse a medium 
it's going to be because I trust them. I've already done my homework and I already know that they're going to tell you the truth. Um, and I endorse Ron, Katrina. My friend. <laughs> yes, I endorse Katrina yeah. Cooper. I, I, on the other hand, am very hard to read, but that's just because I keep myself closed off. So, because otherwise we'd be here all damn day with people going, oh my goodness, that is a picture <laughs> and a half. <laughs> what is that? Tom, Tom just shared a video of you and, and Rody out at Bachelors Grove Cemetery for everybody to watch oh, in the no. chat. So interesting. I'm I wonder what my there might be some discriminating evidence of me. <laughs> so well pro pro smoke. <laughs> well, actually, we're going to be coming up here on break here in about three minutes. But you know what? After that break, we are going to have Ron come on here with us, and he's going to talk about his first experience with Katrina. Because it, oh, was, right. it was actually very enlightening for Ron's mother. So, so it was a it was a big deal, and it was very important to to him. And uh, so it was it was it was a very strange day as it was um, that day. But there's so many things. So so. When we're since we've only got um, two minutes here, Katrina, when yep. when you plan an event, do you you plan on reading each person? Do you plan on how many people are going to be at the event? I keep it well. The last one I the first one I did, there was over sixty people there, and at least. 50 walked out uh, with a message and I was literally vibrating. It, it was, it was super crazy. Yeah, Valerie yeah. will tell you they're sitting on the bed and I'm just vibrating, but you know what? I could do it. That was the key. Second thing it now I keep it down to no more than 20 because um, at that five minutes per person, for a two and a half uh, hour show, everybody's getting delicious food. Um, Holly, Holly is an awesome cook and you're eating um, uh, Southern food. And um, I have wine options so some people can drink wine or their soft drink and they're listening to, well, I went through four different systems. I know I'm down to one minute now and um, Every time I try to where I emphasize with um, a microphone or something, something happens. So I, I'm trying to keep it low enough where everybody can hear everybody's session because it's the words from heaven, man. You know, it's just it, it never gets old and it's never the same. And it's just so honorable. It's awe inspiring. It's or just, the for when somebody hears hears it, then they want to hear theirs. Yes, and each one gets it. And I got people coming back to me two years later with, "Holy cow!" And you know, so um, it's you'd be surprised. I could go on for ages, but we only got now probably twenty seconds left. But I I get such beautiful uh, comments and um, stories from all over the world from my forever friends. And I'm just so humbled with such the honor. I, it, I can't even come up with the English language words to describe what it feels like. It's awesome. It's yeah, it's one of the watchers work. Oh yeah. Well, I'd like to tell everybody we're going to have a two minute break here. So you're listening to WBA. WBHM out of Birmingham, Alabama. Come back in two minutes and we'll be talking some more to the Houston Five. <laughs> 